Hey, what's good? It's Cadillac. I just wanted to show y'all what I've been working on. I appreciate the new purchases on my template. I want to make sure everybody's using the template correctly. So that's why I make these videos. A lot of times when we make a beat on Fruity Loops, we're going to use our mouse and keyboard a lot. Fruity Loops has a lot of keyboard shortcuts. And also, there's a lot of stuff that you can do with the mouse. And so this isn't a workaround to, to not use a mouse. Um, what it is, is it's a way that we can use the hardware or the machine MK3 to control Fruity Loop functions. But um, a lot of times we don't need that. Sometimes it can be just as quick to, to click or to type it in. So I just want to note that for reference. My template is very advanced. You need to go over my videos, check it out. But we're going to go over some of the beats that I made just today, just, um, just a few minutes ago. So I started out with this right here. What is it? This guitar, basically. And... Uh, So I started with this guitar. And if you have my template, it's set up like this and it's already routed. Um, this is where all the drum pads are. So we can sequence drum pads. We can either push them in on Fruity Loops or we can actually push them on the pads on machine. Um, on this beat, you can see I just brought a bunch of samples right in. Instead of loading them in the machine and then pushing them on the pads, I just had used my mouse and I clicked them right in. I brought them right in and then I started drawing the little squares and before you knew it, hell, I was kind of done with the drums. So, like I was saying, a lot of times you can use Fruity Loops or Machine. Sometimes I would have turned the machine on and when I, I would have finger drummed the little kick, snare, and hi-hat pattern, perhaps. And you can do it either way. So, what we did is we started with that guitar right there. Um, I like the guitar, but I ended up pitching it, pitching it down more. So I ended up pitching it down. It sounded like this. After that, I went ahead and I added another guitar. And I kind of layered them on top of each other. They kind of clash, but they do sound good together. And then um, you can see that those kind of push the CPU up almost, almost to the max. So it's real important to render, you know, sounds as audio when you're making these beats. I went ahead. I put the bass line on it right here. Well, hell, you have to start it from the beginning. So I put that bass line in. I ended up putting this organ on there also. All right, and you can see it in the video. This is an example, but you can see that my CPU is almost maxed out. My computer doesn't like to record videos and then play audio and with a low buffer or whatever. But anytime you're making a beat, you should always render these. Come, these are actually playing right from the fucking Omnisphere. But it's always good to render it. It'll bring the CPU down. So I could have rendered these to audio. It's real simple to do. In fact, I could actually just go to one of these tracks right here. Right click and go to quick render. And it'll make an audio clip. But we're not going to do that at this point. But just for reference, it's real important to do that. Keep your CPU low because when you start to finger drum on machine... You want the CPU low so that the input comes in very quick. There's no delay. All right, so we have those sounds. I ended up putting um, this piano on. Shit, if you, if you can hear it, shit. <laughs> Hear it right there, yeah. You can hear with the guitar. There's just one chord right there. I had some other ones, but they were like it was just too much, it was clashing. So I just took that one chord down. And I could I could actually play some more piano part. And so uh that was about it. And then I put this FL keys. It was actually a piano with the effect from the B4. I don't know why I haven't been doing that more often, but I really like it. 
I might actually even play a little more melody with that, but you can hear the FL, the light keys right here. Oh, no, you can't hear it because it is turned off. But uh, you can hear this sound right here. This was the last sound I added. And then I was just going to, I was going to add a, a guitar lead. But uh, I didn't come up with anything yet, so. And you can hear that little sound right there, the little bloop bloop. So it's a pretty neat little sound, this uh, FL key, the light key. This is the sound I was talking about. You can hear when I play melodies with it. I might add a little something like this. You know, like. and it's hard to play with the latency off, but you can hear how nice that sound sounds. You know. <laughs> All right, so th that was my melodies, and then I just came in and I just uh, did the drums, basically. So we're gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and just start it from the top. You can kind of see how I sequenced it out with those sounds I just showed you: the guitar, the bass, the B4. And we just kind of made it real simple and uh, real short structure and sequence. I think it will play right now because it has too much, uh, it's taking up too much CPU. And like I was saying, one of these sounds, or at least some of these need to be rendered to audio. It'll bring the CPU all the way down. So let's start it from right here. And so we just put some drums down real quick and we laid them down with the mouse. the back I did put an 808 on there and it, it's just like this you turn the 808 on so I wanted to drop silent like that maybe say something and then keep coming So, um, like I said, my computer was not going to let me do the video and show you all the beat. And you can hear the static. And if anyone has a problem like this, it's, it's always because we need to render these these VSTs into audio. Um, a lot of people think that if you use a different computer or a Mac or something, it could actually be better or whatever. But it's a whole different operating system. You're going to have a lot of uh, runaround. And um, at the end of the day, sometimes it might not. And um, it's always good to render the audio anyway because we have a lot of post processing that we need to do. And so we want to go ahead and free up that CPU so that we can do that. So I just want to kind of show you all what I was working on and how we do it. Um, we just use the template and you can see the template. It links these tracks 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we can easily just load up VSTs right here. Once the VSTs are loaded, we can go ahead and we can route the VSTs to our mixer. Our mixer is already set up like this inside the template where it has all the pads for the drums and then it has our little sounds right here that we just loaded up it's also got the perform effects track i show you a video how to use that perform effects track and so at any time we can use the machine template i could use it right now load up some samples or vox and we would just turn machine on and we would switch it over to my machine mode or we could use the machine regular mode in fact i can click on it right here Hell, I could probably take machine off here. It would take take off some of the CPU. <laughs> so, so I didn't use it. So yeah. So bam, we deleted it. And you can see it go down from 41 to 38, just a little bit. Um, I didn't use this plugin, Chihulu. We could delete that one. 
but yeah, you want to keep the 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 plot the project as slim as possible, not too much process and not too much going on. That's the best part too, it's messing up. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right there. But uh, I just wanted to show y'all kind of what we're doing right now. I appreciate y those of y'all that bought the template. And uh, I'm trying to make some more videos. I'll make sure that we do render it to audio before we record the video, that way it's not popping and anything. You can actually hear what we're working on nice and clear. But until next time, appreciate everybody. One.